Hello everybody, welcome in, welcome back. I am finally over my jet lag, so I wanted to do the cookies video with you guys today. Um, thank you for bearing with me uh, through my travels and for being understanding, you guys are awesome. I do have some opinions. I've been catching up on Watts content, and so I do have some opinions that are related to the case, but not the video, so I'll save them for the end of the video, but I will share them with you. And of course, per usual, if you are highly sensitive to the subject matter, or if you are offended by my thoughts and opinions, no hard feelings, feel free to not watch the video, okay? Nobody cares, you can watch or don't watch. Um, quick update, I don't know if you guys know that the volcano did blow, and Mauna Loa is flowing, she is, Pella is, going off and it's quite a beautiful sight so far no homes have been destroyed thank goodness um keep praying though there are people that are packing up and preparing to evacuate and she is going to in the next couple of days block and cover one of our major roads which will lead to a lot of traffic jams but for me the big one is i want i hope all homes stay safe you know especially during the holidays there is no guiding Pele. There is no stopping or blocking where she goes or what she does, right? So she goes where she wants. And yeah, so just keep people in your thoughts um, on that. And with that being said, let's get into cooking with SW. Perfect best mommy ever. Everybody say hi, Bella. Say hi. hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Show them your lips. Or Show them it. your lips because that's not inappropriate at all, right? It's not inappropriate to put lipstick on two-year-old and a four-year-old and then film them and make them make kissy lips. That's not inappropriate. There's no weirdos watching, right? So you guys have all seen this video. She's pretending that she is, you know, Martha Stewart, happy homemaker, and... She thought it would be a cute commercial to put the girls in matching pajamas, like their dolls, basically, and then say she's baking cookies with them. But what she really wants is for the girls to say hi to the camera, look cute, and keep your freaking hands to yourself and no whining. That's basically SW's idea of a good video. Okay. Chocolate chip cookies right now. Even though the girls can't have chocolate. You know, and it's such bullshit that she was like uh, this <laughs> baker, right? She she knew what she was doing in the kitchen. And it's total bullshit. So you'll see the girls are going to participate. If you want to call it that, right? SW does everything and then they're allowed to like pour into a bowl. That's it. But um, you'll see the way that she bakes and you'll definitely know if you've ever made cookies or at least cookies or brownies or bake something a few times, you'll know that she doesn't know what she's doing and she often will look over to a recipe. So this is probably her first time doing this and that's the, why, the reason why she does it the way she does it, okay? It's absolutely absurd. She's, uh, SW is getting irritated. Hold on, it's gonna stay there for a minute. We got other things to get ready, okay? Look, I need other things. Look, say hi, everybody. Say hi. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I know, we're gonna get You guys gotta listen to that on your own. Okay, watch this video. Listen to her say that on her, on your own. It almost sounds like someone did a slow motion. Okay. She already had it. The video just turned on. And she's like, hey, everybody. Of course, you can't bake cookies here. without dad's help. Just a normal house, right? Hey, Jen. Just a normal house. Mother can't do anything without daddy's help or somebody's help, right? Mother cannot manage her children without a helper. That is not normal. Say hi, Jen. Most women grow freaking new arms and legs when they become mothers, okay? You grow uh, eyeballs in the back of your head, right? You fucking learn how to do a whole lot of shit all by yourself when you become a mother. 
This one couldn't do anything without a helping hand. Okay. Bella wanted lipstick on like mommy today. Show her your lips. And, and that's okay. Too. That's okay for dress up, playtime. Not for the world to see, okay? That is totally inappropriate for a little girl to be wearing lipstick on camera. That's like saying, what, you let your kindergartner, you let your even your fifth grader wear lipstick out of the house, go to school like that? No. So why are you filming it? No kisses. Mm. <laughs> uh, She's sick. Right now we're making chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna make sugar cookies, She's sick. Italian cookies. Okay. She's fucking sick. And you can just look at her fucking face, okay? She, she's twisted upstairs. So you're going to put lipstick on toddlers and then you're going to tell them to blow kisses at the camera for all the weirdos? Okay. Cookies. Um, come on over, Amanda. Who wants to go uh, there? That's the most uninviting home. Nobody wants to go there, trust me. Even the people that uh, live there weren't comfortable jet. there. Uh, baking soda? Uh, uh what next? Do you want to read your directions? Sugar? Mama, I want I know. Okay, baby. Mama, I want okay, baby. Mama, okay. Mama, okay. Mama. Sorry, but a simple solution to the girls getting at each other and getting naggy and to share mom's attention equally, mom could stand in between the girls. Just a simple, like, common sense solution, right? Then the girls don't go at each other. Then you are you have one, you can turn this way, that way, and... Cover your mouth. Mom, mom, read She doesn't know what she's doing. She's literally reading instructions. She doesn't know how to measure this. She's never done this before. So there... Fill it up again. This is funny, this. okay? This is what's funny, is the ingredients all go, this is what happens when you don't have to wash dishes, right? The ingredients will all go into separate bowls, okay? And then, this is SW's baking, and then all those ingredients that you, so they put in the measuring cup, they go in a separate bowl, okay? And then they all go in the same bowl, right? So instead of just measuring and putting all in the freaking same bowl, you add another step. Good job, Bill. One more. Positive praise from dad. Go ahead. Now Cece's turn. Can Cece hold it? Yeah. Put it over the bowl. Wrong bowl. Wrong bowl. You saw dad swoop in? Hold on. Did you see that? Because that would have been the end of the video, right? If, if Cece, God forbid, spilled a little sugar on the fucking counter, what would happen? Why would he swoop in like as if that was an emergency or something? That's very weird. Awkward. Good job. This family Good job. has the most awkward interactions. These people are like a family of strangers that have never met before. It's so weird to watch them all together because they're none of them are comfortable. None of them are relaxed. None of them are actually enjoying themselves. Okay. Sugar's right. ready. Sugar's right. ready. Now we can pour it all into the bowl. Oh my goodness. Say hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. Hey, Jamie. That is Watch SW try to be a mom. Oh, we got brown sugar. No, no, leave that for now. Don't touch anything. You're just supposed to sit there and say hi and be cute. Hello. I don't know why. Don't touch. Don't hands to yourself. Any, even a freaking teenage babysitter knows you give the girls a task. You involve them. Not only are they supposed to have a hands-on thing to do, right? If you're gonna bake with children, but also you can be asking them, so Bella, Cece, what comes next? What do we do next when we bake cookies? That's right. 
And if they make a mess, then they also participate in cleaning. Cleanup is also part of baking, right? Of course, they're going to get fussy because they have nothing to do. It's boring. Again. I wonder what the grandparents thought of their grandbabies wearing lipstick. Positive praise from dad again. Okay, we're gonna do this one. She also does a weird thing where she passes it to like make sure. Yeah, hold it, hold it tight. Thank you, Jamie. Say hi. Good job, Belle. Say hi again. Whoa, good job. You know how to flip a measuring cup upside down, like... Yucky! Yucky? Yucky. <laughs> what are you talking about, Cece? This is not baking with kids. Baking with kids is fun, yucky. it's messy. That's not yucky. Right? Yeah. Brown sugar. This is infuriating oh. to watch. This is so mind-numbingly boring. The dough, and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator because that makes the best cookies when they're chilled. <laughs> okay, SW. Thank you, honey. No, I think that was Thrive Bites, but okay. Or maybe she read that in the magazine, in the recipe, you know, the directions that she keeps looking at. Maybe that's what it said. You want a spoon? Yeah, can they do something? Like, hello? Cece? La la la. Are you reading in directions, SW? Okay. okay, what comes next? Mom doesn't even know. Big bowl. Okay, watch out. So we're going to mix this in here, all the sugars. Right, we're going to put all the sugars into one bowl. What was the point of putting them all into different bowls? Sugar. Only, only SW, it makes sense for SW. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, she's okay. reading. Hold on. She makes them all the time. That's why she has to read the directions. Okay. Say hi. Oh God, CW! Now you're doing the high thing. All right. CC. like, all right, I've had enough. This is all. Thank you, Anita. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, you guys thought you were going to help? You guys thought you could touch? No, you're just here to look cute. Okay. I love the They're not fucking dolls. She legit wanted them to sit there, look cute, say hi, hands to yourself. She can't manage her kids. Five minutes. And what is the uh, what is the solution to fussy children? What is SW's solution to fussy children? Chocolate, sugar. Hey, my kids are being fussy and they're not listening. What do I give them? Hmm. Right. That's such a childlike mind to think sugar, candy. Do you want chocolate? No. She thought she was gonna bake. Hey, if you want chocolate, you just get this bowl. That's all they eat. They're actually hungry for food. Um, Let's go. Um, this is like, can this, this be is over? Why I love that I thrive. Right? <laughs> it's never a dull moment. CC. Even CW's laugh, it was so forced, right? He's trying to normalize what's going on in his house. Unfortunately, he was emasculated and did not take control of the situation. And 
SW has the type of personality you give her an inch and she will walk all over you and she will stomp on you. And that's exactly what she did to her man. And she is the kind of person that needed to be checked, okay? And checked very often. Unfortunately, nobody checked her. Nobody. Nobody ever questioned her. Nobody ever said, what? Why? I don't want my granddaughters. I don't want my grand, I don't want my niece with lipstick on film, blowing kisses to God knows who, right? Nobody ever said, oh, give them something to do. They're bored, right? They're fussy because they want to give them something. Let them lick the bowl. I don't know. You want the orange bowl? So lost. So long. All right, no, for you. no idea right, what to guys, do. Uh, we're gonna go. Okay, Daddy, we'll get you a tissue. Uh, you guys know this is the morning too. She's giving them chocolate. I don't know if I was talking over it. This is morning time. It's probably why the girls are still in their pajamas because baking, we bake cookies, right? before we brush our hair, brush our teeth, change into our clothes for the day. Uh, anyways, and also we feed the girls chocolate for breakfast. No? Okay. We love you guys. Maybe, maybe feed them food before you filming. Hannah, oh my goodness. Literally, I am glad I thrived because I can handle it. <laughs> What happened when the... That would make him happy, but I guess it doesn't. So, um... Kelly's <laughs> not the answer to everything in parenting. Handle this and finish these cookies because I gotta go to Costco. She's like, oh my god, if chocolate doesn't work, that means Benadryl and Tylenol and put them in their beds. Pop them in their beds. And get detergent because I forgot it yesterday. And then click mm -hmm. list at King Supers because I love it now. Because click list, right? Oh, she was a couponer. Not by choice. They literally were broke. They literally had to clip coupons. Not because she was like into saving money. Obviously, she wasn't. And that's it. That's my day. I finished cooking. Right? Right. Um, love you guys. See you later. We'll be back. Say bye. Bye. The girls are always happy when the video is done. <laughs> Must be all the essential oils in the nebulizer making the girls cough, right? Textbook Munchausen mom. I know people are going to say you cannot diagnose just by watching her videos or just by reading Discovery or whatever. You cannot diagnose over the internet. But that's like saying if a child is always hungry and not properly dressed right and looking malnutrition i'm supposed to just say oh i can't just assume <laughs> right there's a b and c going on but i no they're probably not being abused and neglected right there's no it is what it is and we can use common sense and logic and that is my opinion is that it's obvious gonna go bye guys bye. Yeah, maybe go feed your fucking kids. Hey guys. Oh, here's a 30 year old woman. Office, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair before work. 30 oh, years old. The benefits of um, Colorado is it's a dry climate minus a little bit of snow we've had the last- Imagine how much she bitched and moaned about her hair in North Carolina. Oh my fucking God, right? Because in Colorado, in Colorado, so here are the things that I wanted to say to you guys, uh, not in regards to the video, but in regards to this case. And I wanted to say that if my daughter was late or missed a doctor appointment, I'm not saying check the knives, okay? Just think about it. Just think about it in a normal situation, in your own situation, right? If I'm unaware, of any issues or strife in the marriage. And if her husband is soft, gentle, submissive, kind CW, I'm not saying when she misses one doctor appointment, 
I'm not saying call the cops, check the knives. Like NK said, murder is not on the top of anybody's mind when someone doesn't come home for a night, okay? That is not normal. That is not normal thought process. And so there is a reason her mother had that on her mind, okay? There is a reason her mother's mind went there. And uh, just really quickly, can a pregnancy, abortion, or birth complications cause death? Yes, indeed they can. In fact, you will hear many horror stories from many women that have given birth or been pregnant before. Um, for myself, uh, when I had my third child, I had complications at birth and I couldn't stop my, they couldn't stop my bleeding. I went home, I became so ill, I was throwing up uncontrollably. Uh, when I went to the doctors, they admitted me straight into the emergency room, straight into the hospital. And I was put in almost like a drug-induced coma. And when I woke up, they said, you know, I had a uterus infection. And that in the old days, women died all the time from those kind of birth complications and infections, you know, in the days before modern medicine. And so, yes, indeed, if somebody, say a friend, was trying to help her have an abortion or terminate pregnancy, right, without proper medical care, could something have gone wrong? Most definitely. And women used to die from these things all of the time. So now I have my paperwork all messed up. Um, okay. Here we go. It's talking about friends, right? Sorry, I had to organize. But talking about friends, right, that were with her in her last days, uh, friends that were with her in Arizona, is it possible that something like that did occur, right? A little help, you know, maybe gave them a little pill or a little thing they heard about or a little uh, something they knew about try this you know usually this works and is it possible that something horribly wrong happened I don't know is it possible is that why people were so nervous and knew it was an emergency before it was an emergency um, is it possible that those people that were all in Arizona with her got on a famous three-way call right and when shit hit the fan, they needed to get their stories straight, you know, so they don't end up in matching bracelets. And I think that is very possible, especially because we see what is known as the script, right? Multiple people saying the same story over and over again. You can ask any detective when they see that or when they hear that, when they interview people, they know that people are lying and that they were told what to say, okay? So, <clears throat> I wanted to encourage everyone to stand firm in your principles and in your convictions. Once again, you know, I mentioned this a couple of times already. Don't let anyone, even if they have 15 PhDs, yada, yada, push you or bully you around because just because a person doesn't have formal education it doesn't mean they're any less smart and it doesn't mean they aren't well read or naturally intelligent it doesn't mean they are not gifted sometimes people can be so book smart and have zero common sense sometimes you can be so smart you're stupid right also we're all adults and we need to take responsibility for the things we say don't blame others and because we're all adults most of us with families of our own we know the signs of drug abuse, alcohol abuse, and we know what a person looks like when they are under the influence, okay? And some people may choose to ignore these signs, uh, but we are not fooled, okay? Nobody is blind here. And while speaking on the topic of seeing through the bullshit, best friends, okay, speaking back on best friends, best friends don't know birthdays, okay? That's what I'm supposed to believe, right? That N.A., was her best friend, SW's best friend, but NA did not know her birthday. Okay, that's 
bizarre. Best friends don't know your age, so you're a best friend. Think about your best friend. What do you know about her or him, whatever? You know how old they are? You know their birthday? Your best friend. Best friends aren't invited to your wedding. In reality, a best friend is going to be there. Even if you don't have a wedding, they're going to be witness to your nuptials, right? They're going to be there. You don't get married without your best friend. Best friends aren't in your wedding. And your best friend that is addicted to social media doesn't even mention your marriage, doesn't congratulate you. There is no post about your wedding in any of their hundreds of posts. Okay. Just wondering if that's the new thing, you know, best friends don't really know each other. Best friends aren't at your important events. Okay. Anyways, that's all I have for now. Wanted to leave you guys with some thoughts I've been thinking of. You know, they might be things that we've gone over several, several times, right? It might be things that we've talked about many, many times. But for some reason, people have been not only walking things back, but again, trying to minimize and diminish, right, the very obvious things, like check the knives, like your best friend saying you're diabetic, not inviting you to their wedding, just really peculiar things. And if it was one thing, maybe people could say, hey, you're making a mountain out of a molehill, right? You're picking at one thing too much. You're inventing things, but because it's a multitude of things, right? Just like with, uh, when I say SW was obviously the children's abuser, she was obviously a Munchausen mother. The reason I can come to that conclusion is because of a multitude of things, right? It's not just one eyebrow raising, one questionable thing. It's a consistent multitude of issues and happenings that makes us conclude the obvious, right? Anyways, you guys, 